What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness, welcome to the channel. So hey, consider subscribing if you guys are new. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to survive judo at the age of 40, in your 40s, 40 and over. Number one, you gotta lose weight. If you have any excess fat on you, you gotta go ahead and drop that as much as possible because the heavier you are, you know, fat is dead weight, by the way. And the heavier you are, well, the more, the harder you're gonna fall, especially on the landing. It's the landing that kills you, it's not the fall. You could be flying through the air like, ah, you have a good time, it's fun. It's the sudden stop at the bottom. And it, on top of that, if the guy like puts his body weight on you as he lands, then good times, good times. The other thing that you wanna do is you wanna get jacked. So I made another video about this, why every man should get jacked. There's another benefit, if you do judo or any kind of sport, impact sport, you want, the more muscle you have, this, the better off you'll be. You'll be safer and you, it's, you're gonna perform better too because muscle will actually uh, serves a purpose <laughs> as opposed to fat. The third thing that I really suggest and that I started doing is that you got to go see an osteopath once a month. Once a month, I think it's sufficient. Unless you have some kind of traumatic injury, that's what I do now. I go see my osteo once a month because what an osteopath does is that he looks at your body uh, you know, he looks at your structure, you know, you tell him and then he puts you, he puts the structure back into place. When I say structure, I mean your bones and then your muscles and making, making sure everything is moving right. Because if everything in your body is aligned, like if you're walking around crooked like this, you know, you're getting thrown all over the place. I mean, that adds up and then you're going to be, uh, you know, falling crooked, which makes it worse because your body is a compensation survival machine. So it's going to compensate for all these crookedness, the misalignments that you have in your body, but it can only do so, so for so long until like you know there's you get some serious problems and sometimes your back is uh, you know you have a you have something on your neck here but it really has something to do with your toe or your ankle that just has to be readjusted or something in your hip that causes uh, some kind of um, the alignment of the kinetic chain to be crooked in your in your structure and then it just throws everything off so you got to go see an osteo if you're training hard once a month, that's what I do. That settles that, I hope that made sense. Now, the other thing that you wanna do is stretching and mobility. You gotta do both. You want, it, you want your muscles to be nice and, and stretchy and loose, right? Have that flexibility and you wanna have mobility. Mobility has to do with your joints, guys. Mobility has to do with your joints and being flexible is making your, that, that, that muscle flexible, like an elastic, you know? That's gonna help you recover faster and that's gonna make you, decreases your chances of injury and when you're flexible and you have your full mobility, that also translates to better performance because when you're more flexible, what happens is that you have better range of motion. When, you have, when you're flexible and on top of that, you have the mobility, right? Because if you're flexible but you don't have the mobility, eh, you know? If you have both, you have full range of motion. Now, if you have full range of motion, then you're gonna have more momentum in your movement. Right? You have full range, so you're not just like, you're actually able to like bring this, well, obviously you don't punch like this, but you could bring this back, you know, like this. It increases speed. So if you increase the speed, you have more power. The last thing that you have to do is, is massages. Get yourself a good masseuse, and really it's gonna help you relax, feel good, take away like all the, um, all the knots in your muscles and all, right? Because an osteopath is not the same. An osteopath works on your structure, right, realigns all, everything that needs to be aligned in your system so you feel better, but then you wanna massage that. For the guys who could afford it, osteo, massage, you know, uh, of course stretching and mobility, that's something that you have to do on your own, but the other two, you could just uh, pay a professional to do it. Well, obviously you gotta pay a professional to do it, like how else are you gonna do it, you know? Like I have myself a Theragun that I use, but I mean, you can't hit your back and it's, it's, it's not the same. You gotta use all the tools at your disposal, but these are, the things that are going to make surviving judo and BJJ in your 40s and then beyond, you know? So uh, of course, uh, I'm gonna make other videos as I, as I grow, as I evolve, as I make more money, I'll be able to afford more healthcare, you know, professionals taking care of my body. Because for those of you guys who don't know, like I'm actually, once this friggin' pandemic is over and I'm like out of lockdown, I gotta get my black belt Right, and then once I get the black belt, well, I'm, I'm gonna compete until I win a title. So I want 
some kind of title, Canadian title, national title, and world title. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but that's the objective, and that's why I'm bringing you guys along, making you guys some good content all over the place, and uh, you're gonna see it's very, uh, you guys gonna, you know, we're gonna get to know each other. It'll be fun. And uh, leave your comments down below. All right, guys, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.